it is a scroller box time, so uh, let's cut this bad boy open and see what's inside. This box is quite thick. It's very bulgy right here. So I don't know what's inside. Alright, here we go. What, 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 what? Oh, that's interesting. What is this? It looks broken. Now, I'm just wondering if that's the thing that Scrollerbox warned us about in an email to say that the art supply that was in the box is not broken. It looks like it, but it's not. So this is a Van Gogh selected filament. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out eventually. The candy. I wonder if it's lemon. All right, so we have a Lyra pencil. A, is that a 3B? Never heard of a 3B. It is an eraser. It's the standard one. Um, it, uh, what is that word? So this is the featured artist. Wow, look at that. Is that Rizzo Chan? And we have some, oh, that's some very thin paper. Wow. Let's open this up and see what this is. Okay, so we got the sticker. We'll put that aside and oh, <laughs> we've got gouache. I have never used gouache, so this is going to be uh, interesting. Wow, so we've got six. We've got six colors in there. Wow, look at them, Dale Rowney gouache. I like their watercolors, so I presume that the gouache, which is um, my understanding of gouaches, is just like a really thick watercolor. And this paper is Bockingford 220 GSM watercolor paper. And the challenge is face of emotion. So it's, it's going to be another human I'm going to draw, another face. Or, 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 or is it? Where am I gonna draw a human? Okay, so after I actually sent an email to Scrollerbox to say that I was missing the end of this this paintbrush, um, it's taken me about whoa, half the day to realize that um, I just had an epiphany. I thought, I'll just come and inspect this a little bit more. And what do you know? How embarrassing. Now I've had to cancel that email to scroll a box and realize that I'm a complete dumbass. I've never seen this before. So I honestly thought that I was missing this. It was supposed to be floating around the box, but it was in the thing here the whole time. So, because that looks like it clips into something. Of course, it clips back into there. <laughs> so, that's a little bit of an embarrassing moment. So, after all this, I can actually do some swatches. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to eat the candy because it's at night again and I've brushed my teeth. We'll do some swatches of everything. So what do we have? So once again we have this 3B pencil which is yeah pretty uh pretty uh nice and soft try this bad boy. Ooh. Oh wow. Well, that's pretty cool. That eraser is pretty good for just one of these 
bulk standard erasers. Two of these now. So what colours do we have? Alright, so we have Portrait Pink, Cad Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, Titanium White, Ivory Black, Eliz Elizarin? Eliz Eliz Elizarin Crimson Hue, Cobalt Blue Hue. I'm not going to use a palette, I'm just going to dab them on the paper. Oh, mm -mm. that's a pink that I can get behind because it's, it's like a skin colour pink. It's actually, that reminds me of foundation. What does it smell like? I can't smell anything. I can't get over this how I totally did not even try to pull the end out of this. Alright, uh, let's just have some thick bits here and then... Look, I must admit, I'm not a pink fan, but that's, that's a nice pink. Okay, so one thing I... I don't, one thing I don't like about this brush is I like to really get in the water and you know get in there and do that and just wash the brush out and this is just falling off so I don't like that wow very I'm actually very excited to to work with with gouache because I have actually seen it in uh, art stores and I've just avoided it because I um, thought oh, I'm not ready yet I am not ready to tackle gouache yet but this has forced me to to tackle it and I'm going to so and I'm going to continue in my um, thing of doing humans and and doing portraits of people so um i'm going to i'm gonna do that i'm gonna work on that and i'm gonna give that a go and work on more human faces um that's if i can control myself and actually to make it a human face we'll see we'll have to see because um i just i'm just not happy settling with a human face Ah. Uh. Yeah, there's a war that goes on inside me to try and draw different things, especially hideous, like get away from my hideous things and draw something nice. So yeah, I'm going to go away and I'm going to work out what emotion I'm going to draw and what face I'm going to draw. So yeah. All right. Well, I finally got us their moment to tackle this scroller box with this gouache. I'll, I'll leave this here for some inspiration because I don't really know what I'm going to be doing yet so we'll just see if we can take something. But, uh, we might actually do a candy review to try and get some, you know, get some ideas going. Oh, holy crap, a lolly's lemon, but because I've just brushed my teeth about half an hour ago, was not a good idea. It was like it had a sour coating on it, but I don't know if that, I think that was just a toothpaste. Good lolly. That lolly was really, <clears throat> that was some tangy shit. Oh, my eyeballs are sweating. You can probably hear the traffic because my new office, my new art corner, which I still have to give a um, tour of, is right at the back of the house and the highway is just there. So you're gonna hear cars, you're gonna hear all sorts of stuff going past. You're also gonna hear 
Barry, which is what I call the pool cleaner, and he, he's quite loud too, so. Not the most ideal spot to be doing art, but in doing this, but um, it, it's, a, it's just how it is. It's, it's a nice spot. It's just very noisy. Oh my god, I ate some of the plastic. Luckily that got stuck in my teeth. Oh god. Alright, so I suppose the expression that I want to capture today is probably like secrecy, like someone is hiding something. So I want to sort of capture that sort of look of I know, I know things. I, I know horrible, terrible things. You think I'd actually clean my palettes, don't you? Oh, Jesus. I do not have a clean palette. Look, I'm not even prepared. I haven't even got water. I haven't gotten a palette. Well, I found a semi-clean palette, so. <laughs> I feel as though I've been doing a lot of these face portraits lately. So we'll give a I want really big eyes. I like big eyes. So I'll just map some really big eyes out. So I'll just, just do this. So the eyes are across there. I do really like that creepy doll look. That's why I always do draw really big eyes because I just really like drawing big eyes because I just like that unnatural creepy doll look so what I want to do here is I want to give her one normal eye and then this eye I'm just going to sort of make A little bit sort of creepy. Okay, so I've changed the expression now <laughs> because I'm uh, I've sort of gone from uh, what I wanted to do, and as I'm drawing her, which is what happens, I tend to, you know, change things up sometimes. I have gone with a sort of petrified sort of uneasy look now the look she's got now it's like she's just seen something she did not want to see and she is shitting herself Margaret let's give her an ear even though I'm not really good at drawing ears but let's just do it anyway but hey let's open these bye bye Well, I could have done that a bit more graceful. You might get a purple going. Yeah, let's go for it. Now, I have done no research on how to use wash. So I'm just absolutely winging it here as as I do with most of the stuff because I just think oh well well I'll try it first without actually you know knowing what to do and see if I can just figure it out myself yep don't know what I'm doing I'll give her a nice blow I might mix it with a bit of a bit of black. Let's do that. Ugh! I didn't have any yellow eye like this. I think you got jaundice. You need to go to the doctor.
Am I capturing the aesthetics of this artist here? <laughs> oh, oh shit. That wasn't meant to happen. Ah. Let's define this nose. This is a technique that definitely wouldn't have normally used any other time. So I'm definitely, this is definitely scaring me. All right, let's, let's do the nose holes now. Just a little like that. Oh my god, someone send help. Someone send help. <laughs> Let's move on to the hair, shall we? Without wrecking it. Put some in the eyeballs. And some here. Make her cry blood. Yeah, let me just, just smudge some of it there. <sighs> wow. That boys and girls was pretty damn fun if I must admit. Like I really I've been sort of really liking taking inspiration from the artist and trying something completely different and doing different techniques and this I really enjoyed and I really enjoyed this gouache and I uh, have been missing out so I think that um, yeah I, I do think I want to try some more things in the gouache because yeah like I said that was that was really 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 fun to do just do this instead of really refined just do this really you know slap on some colors make something look look i could make something look absolutely terrifying in this technique so yeah i'm i'm impressed i'm happy um i'm hoping i captured a bit of her like she's she's petrified of something like she's she's scared so but i really like wash if you want your own scroller box i will have a link below not sponsored i pay for these myself and you too could be doing some, you know, art with some mystery supplies that you don't know until you open the box up. So, well, that is it from me. I will see you guys in the new year. Because the next video after that will be the new year. So, I'm out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's. Stay safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.